Okay. Okay. What we have is a large coil here attached to a 30 volt power supply that we run through a ballast resistor. That's a 0.667 ohm, 1% resistor so that we can measure the voltage drop across the coil and using the voltage drop and the resistance of the resistor we can get the current. So we set the voltage at about one volt and that gives us one and a half amps of current. Then what they're going to do is they're going to measure around first one end of the coil Okay, so they're going to draw a path around one end of the coil and measure the magnetic field in the long direction of this little mouse, little hall probe. So they'll measure the magnetic field in one direction around this entire path. Okay, then they're going to prove or disprove, hopefully prove Ampere's law works. Uh, the other thing they're going to do is they're going to take the data that they have from this half and finish going around the entire coil and then finding out what Ampere's law says about that. And of course Ampere's law says that around the entire coil it's going to be zero because the current, if you pass a, a plane through here, the current on this side is the reverse of the current on this side. So the currents cancel which means Ampere's law is zero for a path around the outside of the coil, and they will find this. The hall probe is here, it's controlled through this little dial. You can adjust the zero of the coil by putting it down inside this mu metal shield. So you set it to zero. Set that to zero, and then you can take readings. You have to reset it about every three readings because just touching it heats it up and causes it to drift. So you reset it every every three or four times you take a reading, and you get the halt. You get the magnetic field by using this voltage, right? this hall voltage, and an equation in the book that allows you to calculate the magnetic field. Here's one final note with the mouse.